I'm telling you, girl, you should do that pink right there. That is really No, cool. the other one, that one was really nice. I like that one. Every day, millions of people start and end their day with multiple cosmetics. These include hair dyes, shampoo, makeup, lotions, nail polish, hairsprays, and perfumes, the majority of which contain varied levels of harmful substances. Is the price of beauty worth its negative effects? A survey of 2,300 people shows that the average adult uses nine personal care products each day with 126 unique chemical ingredients. Cosmetics are a threatening category because of the severity of some of the toxic chemicals that they contain combined with the range and consistency of their use. Cosmetics aside from posing serious health risks, threats to the environment are also a concern that people are vastly unaware of. The main reason being that these chemicals are able to travel through the air or when washed off into water, it allows them to pollute much more than necessary. Because of my age, well, it makes you feel good when you look good and makeup makes you look good. I think it adds to my outfit. Oh, just uh, to protect my skin. To look cuter. To look prettier. To look better. El col me gusta para verme mejor arreglada. I said when you look good, you feel good. I think it just gives people individuality and make them more secure about themselves. Uh, to highlight the features that are my best assets. A very tiny amount. Yo creo que usaría unos cuatro productos al mes. Not much. Probably a lot because I use a lot of different things. I go through like one, yeah. but anywhere from one to three hundred maybe. Oh wow! No, um, Garnier, um, and then the algerine uh, for my anti wrinkle. Depends on the occasion. And uh, if her husband's there. If my husband's around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mascara, compact, and eyeshadow. And lip balm. An aerosol can works by relying on pressurized gas to propel the hairspray out of the container. Initially, chlorofluorocarbons were used as propellants. However, these were discovered to be harmful to the ozone in the Earth's stratosphere, which serves to protect life from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. Ethanol, which is a popular solvent in aerosol hairsprays. It has now been restricted as they pollute the air and deplete the ozone layer. Also, when we shower, chemicals found in hair products, be it shampoo, hair gel, hair wax, and more, will go down the drain and potentially contaminate water supplies and harm the surrounding ecosystem. Yet, as we are concerned about risks to our health, we should also remember to count the environmental costs. No. Depends on how directly. No. No. Oh no, of course. Yeah. Um, I would try not to. Because there's some makeup I know that they can test on animals and do bad stuff, but I don't really know what hurts and what doesn't. So, because I don't really make that clear. <laughs> no. Not knowing. Well, if it would affect the environment, if it would hurt me, then I wouldn't want to use it. I'm not really sure how it would affect the environment. Well, the environment can affect a lot more people, whereas your body is you, it's personal. I don't really think there is a difference because if you hurt the environment, you're still hurting your body because you're hurting so, the air and everything. It's not like the same, hurting your body, you know, when you hurt your body, then you expose bacteria to the environment. Hurting your body can kill you. Well, I guess one would be more personal than the other. to go about like $20 for something. Like $20. They're kind of expensive, like $40, $50, as much as it takes. I mean, I'm not going to go out and spend like $50. Only 11% of the 10,500 ingredients FDA has documented in personal care products like hairspray, deodorants, fragrances, and nail polish have been assessed for safety by the cosmetics industry. If we use one product, we might not have to worry so much. But on average, we use between 9 and 15 personal care products every day. According to the nonprofit Environmental Working Group, 
People apply an average of 126 different ingredients to their skin daily. The government does not require health studies or pre-market testing for cosmetics and other personal care products before they are sold. 89% of the 10,500 ingredients used in personal care products have not been evaluated for safety by the CIR, the FDA, nor any other publicly accountable institution. The global cosmetics industry serves an industry whose borders are expanding every day and potential is limitless. 2012, the global makeup market is forecasted to have a value of $30.9 billion, an increase of 23.7 percent. Paul Mitchell is a lot focused on the environment. A lot of the stuff that we use is water soluble, so you can just be washed out and it won't affect the environment at all. One of the things is recycle a lot. When they make their products, they put it in recycled bottles. Uh, some of the other lines that are kind of questionable. Cosmeticdatabase.com is the best site to research what is in the products you use, its hazard level, its ingredients, and effects. The overall solution is simple. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce is easy. Don't wear makeup. If that's too much to ask, just try to wear it less. Read the label to avoid deceptions. Try to polish less often. Paint your toenails and skip the fingernails. Recycling plastic and glass cosmetic containers was a problem, and a few businesses have offered a solution. The Origins line of the Estee Lauder makeup company has become the first nationwide cosmetic company to begin a program to collect the makeup containers of any company. The cosmetic industry is growing every day. It's up to us to make sure that the products we use are safe for the environment and ourselves. Remember, reduce, reuse, and recycle.